Well, hi, everyone. Well, it's certainly been an interesting week for China relative to massive bridge projects. They have a success under their belt, though, because they completed a load test for the world's tallest suspension bridge. I'll go over that today. But earlier in the week, they had this catastrophic collapse of a truss bridge. So let's go over something a little more positive in today's video. This is the Wazhang Bridge in southwestern China. The bridge has a total length of 2,890 meters or 9,480 feet, including a 1,420 meter or 4,660 foot long main span. It's supported by two towers, 262 meters tall or 860 feet. And the height of the bridge deck above the river is 625 meters or 2,051 feet, which is a world record. And you can see these images of them doing a load test. It looks impressive. If they really wanted to load test it, they'd have the bridge deck uh, covered with people walking across shoulder to shoulder, front to back, but I wouldn't recommend that. You know, that happened over 30 years ago. I think it was a marathon or parade or something across the Golden Gate Bridge. And an engineer observed on site to his horror that the camber, the curved portion of the bridge in the vertical direction, had flattened out, which means there was no load carrying redundancy really at that point. So I think uh, they would certainly avoid something like that with this bridge. So this bridge is going to open in September 2025. So next month. I'm recording this video on Saturday, August 30th. And this area is known for its karst topography, so significant relief in the ground surface elevation across the area. This is a drone shot of this bridge. It's quite an impressive structure. Now, I will say the bridge is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's quite a rural area. I mean, the people, the few people that live there will have their commute shortened from about 45 minutes to just a couple of minutes. It's great for them. But these are the kind of projects that only make sense in communist countries. I mean, they're all about trying to prove themselves. And yes, it's a spectacular structure. I think it's really interesting looking, but it wouldn't make economic sense whatsoever in the Western world. In fact, I don't think there's a place in the United States that would have this kind of relief that would have a population center that would warrant a bridge like this. But again, impressive nonetheless. I don't know why they seem to paint so many of their bridges this seafoam green color. You see that paint color in Cold War era structures like in submarines and missile silos. So this bridge costs 2.1 billion Chinese won or in today's dollars, 293 million US, which sounds relatively cheap. I'm not sure how their accounting could be relied on there. It just sounds way too cheap for that type of structure. Now, of course, the US has had massively large suspension bridges that were built nearly 100 years ago. You have the Golden Gate Bridge here. It's completed in 1937, total length of 8,980 feet. The height is 746 feet, the bridge deck above the bay. The longest span is 4,200 feet. Then you have the George Washington Bridge in New York, another suspension bridge constructed in the late 1920s. And then you have the Royal Gorge Bridge in Colorado, absolutely spectacular structure that was built nearly 100 years ago. And the bridge deck is 955 feet above the gorge. It's the tallest suspension bridge in the United States in terms of height of the suspension bridge. And it held the record in terms of height of the bridge deck above the crossing from 1929 to 2001, when it was surpassed by an, a bridge in China at a cost of $4.9 million, or in today's dollars, over $350 million. Of course, if you were to build that bridge today, it would cost probably triple that. Just to give you an idea, some other suspension bridges in the United States by height the Golden Gate Bridge, 746 feet. Yeah, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, 693 feet. The Mackinac Bridge, 552 feet. Oakland Bay Bridge, 525 feet. 
and the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge, 510 feet. This bridge in China took less than three years to complete. And there's a headline here in the Telegraph. China finishes world's highest bridge in time it takes Britain to build motorway overpass. And we see projects in the U.S. taking much longer. So, again, China is all about speed, all about f features that uh, shout, hey, look at me. Again, impressive achievement nonetheless. But let's compare that to the Washington Bridge in Rhode Island. The reported construction cost is going to be nearly twice that of this Huazhang Bridge, and it's going to take longer than three years. Now, I will leave it to you to decide which is more corrupt, the state government of Rhode Island or the Chinese Communist Party? Had to get that in there. So again, congratulations to the Chinese. A very impressive structure. Again, it's somewhat of a spectacle, I think, because it's out in the middle of nowhere for the most part. But it's really cool to look at. With that, I want to cover a book that I recently read. It's called Downfall, The End of the Imperial Japanese Empire by Richard Frank. This book was written nearly 25 years ago. And despite the efforts of the revisionist historians in recent decades, if you really want to know the answer to whether the Allies could have had an alternative to how the end of World War II was brought to a conclusion in the Pacific, read this book. It'll dispel any doubts. It's very well researched and uh, it's a very impressive book. I mean, I think it was Nassim Tlaib, the author of Anti-Fragile, who mentioned in his book, if there's been a book in print for a very long time, chances are it's very good. And I find that to be the case with this book. With that, I want to send a shout out to those of you who've contributed to buy me a coffee. That's a great way to support the channel. I also want to thank the channel members. They typically preview these videos at least a day ahead of time or when everyone else gets to see it. And I certainly want to thank those of you who've contributed to Super Thanks, additional great ways to support the channel. Thanks very much, everyone, and please stay tuned for future videos.